So I can draw lines. What else can I draw? Well, it turns out you can fill in ovals. You can draw rectangles, fill in rectangles. You can draw images. So if you can load in like a JPEG or something like that, you could draw a JPEG on the screen. So suddenly, you can draw pretty much anything you want. Kind of cool. For this project, seeing how it's grids, uh, largely I'm going to be just drawing lines, rectangles. That's about it. You could do more if you wanted to. So something to keep in mind, the x and y position I was talking about, that was how many pixels there were in the panel. So 0, 0, if we're talking about the frame, is up here in the corner here. Notice that there's all of this like menu bar up here, though. So panel, it's 0, 0 is actually where it's placed in the screen. And there is a difference. The reason why I mention this is later on we're going to have to get a uh, mouse press event and figure out the x and y position. And we'll have to figure out, do we want that from the frame? Do we want that from the panel? Whose x and y do we want to use? And it's going to matter. Just something to point out. All right. Drawing lines. That's kind of cool. I guess at this point I should probably make it so that I have some sort of grid. I believe we want a 20 by 20. And if not, I'll change the assignment so it's 20 by 20. <laughs> so there. Um, width is going to be 20. And final height is going to be 20. Did I do this in the wrong order? I did, didn't I? Final goes first, I believe. I'm doing this so that if I decide later on I want to make, say, a 50 by 50 grid, it'll be really easy. Because basically I'm going to do everything calculated based on these numbers here using the names, the variable names. And then later on I can just change the grid if I want it to be more or less. Speaking of which, did I just say grid? That sounds like a two-dimensional array to me. Yay! Let's see. What should I use for the data type? I'm going to go with Boolean. If you want to go with int, that is perfectly valid. I can see why you might want to. It turns out in a lot of these things, by the way, there are multiple ways to do all of these projects. So unless I specify you must do it a particular way, if you can find another valid way to do all these projects, you are welcome to do it. Now, I wouldn't recommend like hard coding out for loops. That sounds like insanity to me. But if you have other like data structures you want to use, if you want to, for example, use an int array instead of a Boolean array, that's totally fine. So speaking of which, let's do Boolean grid, I guess. I do like me some grids. It's a two-dimensional array. And it's going to be a new Boolean with height. There we go. We've already used this constant. It must be useful. Now it would be really nice if my panel knew about this grid. Because when it's drawing things, it would be nice if it could say, hey, this value is true. Draw in a filled square. This value is false. Just draw in the rectangle. So as far as painting goes, it's going to need to somehow know about our grid. So what I'm going to do is, when I create this grid, I'm actually going to hand it off to this panel. So actually, let me move this panel down one line so it's below the grid. And I'm actually going to pass it in. It's complaining at the moment, and that's because I need to actually mess with my panel and let it know what a two-dimensional grid is. So I'm going to go back over to my panel. And it's going to get a grid, two-dimensional. I'm not going to define this yet, though. 
Oh. My bad. How about we put that in my panel where it's supposed to be? There we go. So that actually is going inside of the my panel class. Now I'm going to create a constructor for my panel. It turns out there is something here. It's not just a blank. In fact, there's a two-dimensional Boolean array. I'm going to call this new grid. And basically, whatever is coming in the parentheses, I'm going to set this grid equal to that. So a subtle thing that's going on here. I'm creating a new two-dimensional array over in Conway's life. It is named grid. I am passing it to a new by panel object, which has its own grid. Those two are two different things. There's Conway's life grid, and there's my panel's grid. However, in the constructor, this one line here is basically saying, all right, the grid I've got is now going to point to exactly the same thing as the one that's in the parentheses there. So effectively, Conway's life grid and my panel's grid are now pointing to the same thing. So even though this grid is technically a different variable than this grid, they are now pointing at the same thing. So when the Conway's life passes in the grid here in my panel, it's basically handing information off to my panel's constructor. So new my panel, what it does is it goes into this class and keeps going until it finds something that matches the class name. Hey, look, here's one here. It assigns the thing in the parentheses the temporary name new grid and assigns this grid to whatever that one was. There's actually kind of a two, three step process there. The effect of which is now this grid in my panel is pointing to the same one as Conway's life. <coughs> So now I can speak about one and change the values, and it'll affect the other. Oh. 